to Wings of Aero and welcome to this uh, session 10. That is, uh, we will be doing our model in this session. Okay. Cessna model design class one. And in tomorrow's class, I'll be completing this uh, Cessna model. Okay. Because we know so far we have completed totally a 10th session. Okay. This is our uh, 11th session. So here, uh, what we have done, we have done with our all the components, geometrical components, what we have in the open VSP and we have analyzed completely, okay, the overview and the tools and the menus what we have in our open VSP and also we have done with our some models, basic and major geometrical models, okay, that is our wing, fuselage, propeller, and other uh, small models okay some uh, small small models okay like our stacks pods and all right so we will use all those uh, concepts what we have seen our last 10 session and based on those uh, concepts from here onwards we will be completing design part okay with respect to different different aircraft and today i'll be going with this model that is cessna model here we have cessna 210 aircraft okay just you have to go to internet or you have to go any source and you have to collect the data okay otherwise if you know your model data okay then you can even uh, do that one this is just a beginning stage no you will be not uh, uh, having the data okay it 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 will uh, take time to collect the data and based on that you will be uh, doing uh, calculations and all and you will be fixing your uh, model dimensions and all right so currently uh, uh, we what we have to do we have to just uh, go to the real existing model okay and with respect to that, we will get the dimensions. Just you have to go to Wikipedia or you have to use any source, okay? Uh, just to analyze uh, the same design in the open VSP. Okay, so here uh, from this source, uh, we got all the geometrical parameters of uh, this aircraft, Cessna 210, okay? Here we have a clear view, overall fuselage length, it, 0.2 meter i will just round off that to 8 meter okay and here we have a complete general characteristics and specifications of this uh, aircraft crew one member capacity five passenger length uh, 28 feet okay and two inch so we will round off our weight 28 feet itself okay and we'll go with the, the fuselage length, overall length of our uh, model, 28 feet, okay? No need to take two inch, just we'll round off to 28 feet. Wingspan, and this much. Height, uh, this much, that is nine feet, eight inch. Okay, in terms of meter also, we have our uh, data, that is 2.95 meter. Wing area, 175 square feet. Empty weight, gross weight, fuel capacity. So these are all things uh, we don't need, okay? So for geometrical purpose, uh, what parameter we will need, uh, that we will uh, use. And the rest of the things which you don't know, uh, of course, we have the formula. By using formula, we can find, okay, or else uh, by using our uh, source okay, shape. So from this source, uh, we have our uh, overall area, feet square okay span and aspect ratio okay and overall length we have to consider 28 feet as i told okay 28 feet 2 inch we have overall length so we will round off to 28 feet okay and we know that our aircraft shape is like this okay so uh, what we'll do uh, we know that in this uh, aircraft we have 
or major components fuselage wing and empennage section so uh, today we will uh, complete the major part that is fuselage and rest other uh, parts what we have we will do tomorrow and in this two session we will complete this model okay we will complete this uh, uh, Cessna 210 model So, how, how we can proceed to design the fuselage? So, we can proceed in this way. Okay, overall uh, length we know 28 feet. Just we have to add our uh, default fuselage and we have to give overall length and rest other things uh, I'll be doing in the open space. Then you'll understand. Okay, so if you take nine section, then uh, that will be fine. Okay, otherwise uh, take any section, okay, like uh, you can add a six section, eight section, five sections, but ensure that you are getting that shape, okay, like this. And then your model should like this in the open base. Okay, so we will uh, go with our uh, first component that is field large. Okay, I will come to open VSP. Some of you have sent me assignment. I have checked. Okay. Yeah, here we have our uh, software and just run it. Simultaneously, all of you, those who have joined and those who are watching this video and those who will be watching a recording part. Okay, go ahead uh, with this thing. Okay, take out uh, your uh, data. Okay, and open your software, add default fuselage. Okay, so first we will uh, design our uh, main component, fuselage component. Okay, today it will take time to complete that fuselage. Then tomorrow we will go to next component that is uh, main uh, wing and complete empennage section. Okay, yeah. So uh, I will just uh, paste this here just to give other data. Okay. Here we have our fuse latch. As I told, here we have overall uh, length uh, two eight point two eight meter. Okay. So we will round off to eight meter. Okay, we'll round up to eight meter. Let's take this also. Yeah, we'll fix it. So we know that uh, now we have our uh, clear view of our model. So you have to use your view and you have to complete your uh, uh, all, uh, model parts, okay? Oh, sorry for that. Yeah, I'm just... Yes, now it's clear. Okay. See here. Uh, what we'll do now, we will uh, take our fuselage. Okay. Here we have our uh, overall length. Okay. 8.2 meter. Okay. So we will uh, round off this to 8 meter. Or else uh, you, you can use uh, 8.2, no problem. All of you take 8 meter or take this as 8.2 meter. Okay. 
So we'll go with this. And uh, yeah, so here we should give overall length now. We will add the default fuselage. And here we have overall design length. Okay. That is 30 unit. So according to our requirement, we have 8.2 meter. Okay. So we will go according to the feet. Okay. So we'll go according to the feet. So we will follow that unit. So here in the open VSP, I will uh, type the value okay in terms of feet so already we have our image and details that is 28 feet okay so overall length fixed to 28 feet Okay, round off to 28 feet so i just type 28 enter this is done okay so now after this you just come to cross section and add a number of uh, cross sections now currently we have one two three four number of cross sections okay so this four number of cross sections not enough to get this kind of shape or this shape okay so we need our fuchsia shape in this manner okay so here we have our fuchsia okay this is our fuchsia this one is our uh, empty section no need this one okay so we are dealing with the fuselage so we will go with this shape okay which means like this yeah so to achieve this what you have to do we have to add number of cross sections So here we have four number of cross sections default. I'll uh, come to second cross section. Okay, yeah, I'll come to third cross section. Here I will just uh, insert new cross sections. Okay, so already we have four. This is fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Okay, so now let's check how many number of cross sections we have. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we have totally nine cross sections. Okay, all those cross sections has been uh, settled and it is added in this default fuselage. Okay, here we have all these uh, black black cross sections. What we have that is our number of cross sections okay now i will give the data okay where all this cross section located from this point okay so we have our left view okay so we will fix this is our starting point we will call that one as 0 zero comma zero okay which means this point this point is our starting point okay so this is our starting point i will take that starting point here okay now i will add uh, cross sections in this overall length we know that overall length from here to here we already given in terms of feet okay that is 28 feet okay 
now we have to add our cross sections already we have added okay number of cross sections so what we have added we have to arrange that number of cross sections okay they should not be placed like this completely very close okay so we have to locate our cross sections in this manner okay like this to achieve this shape so we have to locate our cross sections like this okay so you can add one two three four five six seven okay so even you can use seven cross sections and you can give this kind of shape to your model okay and here we don't have the length of this cross section which means this cross section uh if we talk about this cross section okay then where it is located that length is not given okay so i will uh, give that length which is already i have done with that length and uh, all uh, calculation part so i'll just uh, go to that part okay so all of you come to first cross section yeah now currently our zeroth cross section okay we are on zeroth cross section which means we are here at this point zero comma zero and we have to close our geometry okay so to close the geometry what we have to do we have to take the cross section type as a pointed type of cross section okay so let's check the type of cross section what we have yeah so default we have pointed type of cross section so let it be you even you can have a preview here we have preview okay uh, and it uh, shows that the cross section is a pointed type of cross section okay so we have done with this now let's uh, jump to the first cross section okay so we know our limit from zeroth cross section to the last cross section limit we know that is 28 feet okay length overall length okay so just analyze that one zeroth cross section length is zero which means this point this is our starting point and this one is our ending point okay overall length which means here l is equals to zero and l is equals to 28 feet okay and in between uh we are placing our cross section and we have to locate our cross section right so we will do that also yeah so which means uh the overall length if i talk in terms of integration then it is varying from zero to 28 feet okay and it is a closed geometry okay so we are integrating now we will integrate uh, all these uh, cross sections and we will fix and we will achieve this shape yeah so zero cross section is done okay and now we will come to first cross section this first cross section it is located somewhere here okay now default the length of this uh, cross section or this cross section has been placed here okay we don't want that cross section that side instead of that what we have to do we have to move this cross section forward okay so i'll just uh use this uh, x value which means i have to translate that cross section along x and i have to fix here okay which means here here 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एंड नाइन ओके सो हियर वी हैव डबल ओके सो विल गो अपन टू दैट ओके लेट्स कम टू दिस क्रॉस सेक्शन ओके या लेंथ इज नीडेड नो नाउ ओके देन वी विल प्लेस अवर दैट क्रॉस सेक्शन वेरी क्लोज टू दिस जीरो कॉमा जीरो पॉइंट ओके सो वट विल कॉल विल कॉल दिस वन इज अवर सेकेंड क्रॉस सेक्शन ओके इंस्टेड ऑफ फर्स्ट will call this one as second cross section and just beside this 0 comma 0 pointed type of cross section what we have just beside that we will add a cross section first cross section okay here and the length of this cross section i'll just specify like this okay that is 0.00 285 feet. Okay. So we will give that value 0.00285. Enter. Okay. You can observe that that cross section has been uh, taken forward. Okay. Initially, it was back side. so i have just uh, used this option and i have translated that forward okay now we will jump to second cross section okay so here we have our second cross section okay uh, all of you please correct this is our second cross section this this one okay and this is our third cross section this one is our fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth and at the end ninth okay that is our point a type so now we are dealing with the second cross section so we will jump to second cross section already we have jumped and this second cross section it is located here okay so i will just give the length where it is located okay that is 0.23 feet okay 0.23 Seven nine feet. So we will give our value. Here we will come to our exam. See, we are giving our value. Okay, we are not non-dimensionalized that one. Okay, non-dimensionalized in the sense uh, your uh, limit. okay you can don you can take like this 0 to 28 feet or else you can divide this 28 uh, with your uh, location okay and you can non dimensionalize this one from 0 to 1 okay which means you can call overall length uh, 0 to 1 like that okay so you can uh, uh non dimensionalize or you can uh, use your uh, standard uh, unit okay it is varying from 0 to 28 feet overall length okay so we will go like this yeah so now we have our second cross section here we have our second cross section cross section color is blue instead of the black okay which means i am on that cross section okay and this cross section now currently it is located 
feet away from this nose part okay so what we have to do now we have to move our second cross section forward and we have to fix here you have to fix here you have to fix here okay so to fix there uh, we must know the length and the length already have given okay uh, 0 0.2379 feet away okay the second cross section is placed at a distance of 0 0.2379 feet away from this 0 comma 0 okay so we will use that value and we will insert or we will give as an input 0 0.2379 seven and enter yeah that is done see now currently d for uh, we have type of cross section don't worry about the type of cross section later we will change okay uh, first you place uh, each and every cross section okay where you want to place okay so just uh, arrange your cross sections perfectly okay according to your dimension later we will uh, play with the cross section type okay so we have settled our uh, second cross section as per our requirement okay at a distance of 2 0 0.23797 feet away from this 0 comma 0 or from nose part okay so that is done now we will jump to third cross section okay so we have our uh, third cross section okay here we have third cross section okay this is our third cross section we have to move our third cross section forward and we have to fix here okay so i will just uh, erase this thing yeah so this third cross section it is located here at a distance of 1.27 feet okay 1.27 feet away 1.27 feet away from this 0 comma 0 okay so we will give that one as an input now currently it is located here okay which means it is far away so we have to take that uh, cross section forward okay so to take forward what we have to do we have to reduce this one right like this you can reduce you can fix to 1.27 feet or else just type the value one point two seven four enter yeah that is done now jump to fourth cross section okay so here we have our fourth cross section and this fourth cross section it is a uh, located here at a distance of 4.27 okay 4.27 feet away from the nose part So four point two seven enter. Okay, yeah, that is done. Now next, jump to fifth cross section. Fifth cross section. This cross section. Okay, 
it is located at a distance of seven point two four one feet okay seven point two four one feet away from the nose part okay so now this is our uh, fifth cross section okay here we have fifth cross section which is far away okay at a distance of 26.25 feet so we have to move forward this one okay so i'll just move forward and i will fix to as per our requirement so how much we need that is 7.241 So just give that value seven point two four one. Enter. It's done. Okay. Now, next cross section. Jump to next cross section. Here we have our sixth cross section. Okay. This is our sixth cross section, and we have to. take this cross section which is a uh, place back side we have to move to forward okay at a distance of 12.63 feet okay yeah so now currently it is 13.9 so we will type the value 12.63 okay enter next jump to seven cross section which is also back side so we have to move forward and we have to place somewhere according to our requirement or according to our dimension okay so we have to fix here at a distance of 16.89 feet away from most point okay so currently it is 15 just we have to move a little bit forward 16.89 enter this is done now jump to next cross section eighth cross section okay so here uh, we have our uh, la uh, yeah eighth cross section okay so this cross section it is located at a distance of from here to here at a distance of 20 7.54 okay 27.54 feet away from nose point okay that is the location of eighth cross section and we will give that value 27.54 enter this is done and we know that last cross section default that is our final value okay and we know we have given the limit overall length 28 feet so of course the last uh, part overall length it will show that is 28 feet and we know that here we have the last point which is our this point ending point and ending point overall length is 28 feet from the origin okay or from the nose the overall length of the fuselage is 28 feet 
so default you will get uh, 28 feet itself and uh, type of cross section uh, you have to maintain zero or uh, i mean like pointed type of cross section okay now now we will come to each and every cross section and we have to make, give our cross sections uh, type in such a way that it should uh, achieve this kind of shape okay okay so now oh, we will come to our each and every cross section as i told first and last cross section maintain pointed type of cross section so we are on first cross section the type of cross section is pointed type and directly i will jump to last cross section and here also type of cross section is pointed type now in between we have to vary the cross section type okay now i will come to first cross section cross section type default we have ellipse type of cross section okay so ellipse type of cross section what we have that one we will change to different uh, cross section okay so here uh, we need our uh, shape in a circular form okay you can observe the front view top view and side view okay so you can take fuseless type of cross section or circular type of cross section okay because if i cut this uh, section and if i observe then the shape uh, of that uh, cross section it may be fuseless type or circular type so let's uh, take circular type of cross section okay that is circle select type of cross section see now currently it is ellipse type of cross section okay first cross section what you have placed here this one okay the cross section type is ellipse change that to circle and give a parameter circle dia okay circle dia give that as 1.02 feet okay which means this cross section so give diameter as 1.02 feet and enter yes that is done now jump to next cross section okay and after jumping to next cross section okay you change the cross section type and just use general fuselage type of cross section okay because uh, the shape should be like this now okay or like this okay sorry it is not clear i will draw it here okay so the shape should be like this so uh, let's uh, select the cross section type second type of cross section okay consider uh, select that uh, as a general fuselage type of cross section and have a preview okay so here we have the parameters let's change the parameter okay i will give the parameter value all of you type that one and note down that is 1.54 height okay and width 2.82 enter okay and maximum width location maximum width location uh, take that as 0 0.3 enter and corner radius which means this one okay now currently it is zero little bit you increase okay 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 okay so we'll go with 0 0.5 enter 
okay so yeah let it be now for oh, rest other things what we have okay mm. top structure we will change this one little bit top structure okay so oh, here you can observe the top structure it should be curve type okay see the top structure is curve type it's not like this what we have okay now currently we have like do kind of thing okay so just uh, change the cross section top structure and increase this value a little bit increase to 1.5 or 1.2 or 1.1 okay we will take 1.1 1.12 okay let it and bottom structure this also will increase okay okay it's already 0 0.8 little bit uh, reduce this to 0 0.5 okay and upper structure just increase this to 1.1 or 1.2 see you can able to observe the cross section is changing as per our input okay and lower structure this one also i will increase okay 1.2 or 1.3 yeah now uh, i am satisfied with this uh, shape okay so i will just fix this shape and i'll call this as our second cross section okay still if you want to change then you can change your uh, width okay height so you can observe width and height is changing so hold over the calculation what i have done so based on that let it be 1.5 itself that is the height and width 2.8 now we will jump to the cross section type okay now we have default ellipse type okay here also we will add a fuselage type of cross section okay we have general fuselage type of cross section select this one and with respect to this we will get parameter okay uh, i will give the parameter place type this parameter okay now it's currently uh, ellipse type of uh, shape what we have at this uh, third cross section we will change our parameter height and width okay so uh, instead of uh, 3 type that as 2.9 let it be 3 itself and width a little bit you increase the width 3.4 enter okay and maximum width location just increase little bit 0 0.25 okay you will get a little common sense like uh, if i uh, little bit if i vary then i am getting that shape or not okay so as per your uh, shape how you need okay Till you get that shape vary your parameter that is what i suggest okay this uh, all parameters what you have okay this one also corner radius here we have our corner radius now okay let it be the corner radius uh let it be same no need to do any disturbance okay uh, top tangent angle let it be 1990 default itself top structure little bit i will uh, do alteration in this top structure okay i'll just uh, increase the top structure to 1.7 enter okay yeah and uh, bottom structure also i will increase and i will round up to one okay upper structure little bit reduce to 0 0.5 and lower structure let it be okay we'll fix this one and now we will jump to fourth cross section okay fourth cross section type is ellipse type of cross section change this to 
fuse the step of cross section general fuse the step of cross section and uh, change the parameters okay 3.5 enter so we are moving forward and shape is also increasing so that's why i am increasing the cross section type okay the parameter also i am increasing 3.5 and 3.7 Okay, maximum width location we have zero okay uh, type that to 0 0.1 or 0 0.15 okay. and our uh, top structure 1.5 bottom structure also will maintain same 1.5 okay. and upper structure let it be one and lower structure also one okay so we have done with this okay which means this one third cross section this part okay this one so here you can observe that and you can easily predict the shape is increasing okay which means the cross section whichever we are selecting the type of cross section we have to increase the volume of that uh, cross section type okay because here uh, you can observe the shape is increasing geometrical shape is increasing okay at some point and again we have to reduce our cross section type which we will be selecting okay yeah so currently we are on fourth cross section and it is done next jump to fifth cross section and select cross section type general fuselage type of cross section and here also you have to increase previously it was 3.5 feet and width uh, 3.7 we will increase here in this uh, fifth cross section we will increase to 5.5 one that is our height of that uh, cross section and width we will round off to 3.8 and enter and we will uh, do little changes with respect to the top structure bottom structure what we have the default okay let it be 1.7 and let it be this one bottom structure same okay upper structure i will just increase this to two okay yeah let it be like this okay now jump to sixth cross section so you can observe that shape is changing okay So now I am on this sixth cross section. Okay. So cross section type is ellipse type of cross section. Change that to general fuselage type of cross section. Okay. Because our geometry is fuselage. Uh, okay. We are dealing with fuselage uh, component. So select general fuselage type of cross section. And uh, here also you increase the cross section type. What we have default. Round of two. 5.1 that cross section type height okay height of that cross section and width 3.85 and come to the top structure and bottom structure will maintain the same what it was there for, for previous case bottom structure upper structure we will round up to two okay let it be like this okay now jump to seven cross section we are almost done only two cross sections cross sections left okay seven cross section change the cross section type to general fuselage okay as we know that we have reached that maximum level 
at this cross section itself okay we have done with this now we have to reduce the shape of our cross section okay so that's why i will uh, reduce the seventh cross section type parameter that is width height and all other things okay uh, 2.7 enter 2.8 enter okay and here 1.7 enter okay just to get the top structure this one we will reduce to 0 0.6 5 upper structure around up to 2 feet and lower structure 0 0.75 okay that will be yeah now jump to next cross section eighth cross section okay so here we have eighth cross section type of cross section general fuselage type of cross section okay uh, we have to reduce our cross section shape okay so 3 is uh, large we'll reduce that to 0 0.7 feet okay because we are dealing with the, the eighth cross section okay if i take the cross section view then it is very small as compared to the other cross section right so that's why we will reduce the parameter 0.4 and come to top structure that will be 1.5 okay we'll maintain all 1.5 1.5 Okay, even you can uh, take a square type or circular type okay now last pointed type so we have done with the fuselage okay this is our fuselage according to today's session uh, we wanted to complete that fuselage section and we have done with our fuselage component okay You can observe the left view okay the shape uh, should be like this okay we will uh, take the negative thing let's uh, in a two minute let's verify the cross section correctly okay uh, here we have first cross section okay and second cross section we have our third cross section we have our fourth cross section okay this one we have our fifth cross section fifth cross section what we have okay this one okay so oh, maximum width location let's change to minus 0 0.3 yeah little bit it will it, uh, it will be like this okay so just we have to compress so that's why i'm i just use minus okay going down minus going up that is positive so i'm just compressing that sixth cross section i will do the same maximum width location okay here also i'll just 
compress which means minus sign we have to use 23 enter okay now next cross section yes this was seven cross section so minus 0 0.5 Yes, now it's uh, perfect. Okay. So oh, what we have this fuselage, just uh, share this one. So this is our model okay just go to file and save your model so we have done with our uh, fuselage tomorrow we'll continue to next component any questions from your side Any questions, any doubt? No? Okay, then just practice all these things and complete your fuselage. That is your assignment, okay? Submit your fuselage geometry as per uh, the class what we have used the dimension. Okay. So, we will end this session okay thank you sir okay thank you